Moon's a good fish. Whew. Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tsunami Saltex spinning reel. Now, I did do another video on this reel and it was more of an unboxing when I got the reel, just talking about, you know, the specs of the reel and first impressions. So if you want to check that out, definitely check out that video as well. But in this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, how it's performed over the past few months that I've been using it. Now, I mainly use this reel for targeting very large fish using cut bait. Uh, you know, soaking cut bait for big bull redfish or uh, going after really big snook and also tossing, you know, heavy lures or heavy jigs around the inlets and the passes. So this reel is very well suited for that type of application. It's also a great reel uh, for surf fishing because it is completely sealed. Uh, there are internal seals in the reel that will help keep out water, help keep out salt and sand and debris. So definitely helps, you know, if you're fishing in an area where you really have to put this thing through the ringer. Now keep in mind, we don't accept any sponsorships or anything like that. Uh, we do actually sell this reel on our shop page and you can actually check it out there if you wanted to purchase it. And if you are an insider member, you do get 20% off, but Again, keep in mind these reviews are unbiased. This is based on our own uh, personal experience with the equipment and we basically pay for these out of our own pocket even though we do sell them on our page. So don't think we get these things for free. Now as far as the size that I've been using, this is the 4,000 size that I have been using. They also sell a 6,000. So they only have a four and a 6,000. And the 4,000, uh, I've been using 30 pound braid on this reel and it holds about 275 yards of 30 pound braid. So holds plenty of line. And also something you're going to notice is that compared to other 4,000 size reels, this reel is much larger uh, in comparison. You know, this is more like a five or a 6,000 size of a standard inshore spinning reel. So again, these are more suited for heavier applications. Uh, it's a heavier reel. It weighs about 14, 14 and a half uh, ounces. So really not suited for throwing light artificials, more suited for throwing, you know, heavier jigs, like I mentioned before, and heavier baits. Now, one thing you're really gonna notice when you use this reel, you know, it's very smooth. However, it doesn't do what most spinning reels do when you let go of the handle and it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. It actually pretty much stops. And that is because of the internal seals. It's not a defect in the reel. You know, it's not an issue with the bearings or the gears inside of the reel. That's just how these reels are that are fully sealed. Very similar if you were to compare it to the Van Stahl, the VR50. Uh, very similar in comparison. However, uh, this reel is a bit cheaper. You know, it's made overseas, it's made in China, so uh, less expensive components. So it's less expensive than the Van Stahl, which is made here uh, in the States. So that's one downfall. It is made overseas, but if you're trying to save a few bucks, it's definitely worth it. You know, I've never used a Van Stahl before, but I really don't see a need in getting one after using this one because it holds up really well, super smooth drag, and it handles some really big fish. You know, this has 50 pounds of drag, which is plenty, especially if you're trying to pull some bigger fish away from structure. You can load this thing up with 50 pound braid, lock that drag down, and really get a handle on those bigger fish. So next I wanted to talk about just pairing this reel up with a rod. You know, what you should be looking for as far as the rod goes. And like I said before, I mainly been using this reel for, you know, chunk and cut bait and also tossing heavier jigs and heavier lures, everything from one ounce, two ounce to three ounce uh, lures. So the rods that I'm going with are anywhere from the seven foot six to eight foot range with a medium heavy power and a fast action. And you wanna look for a rod with a line rating that matches this reel. You know, this reel can hold anything from 15 pound braid up to about 50 pound braid. So you wanna look for a rod uh, with that line rating. So the rods that I'm using specifically, just in case you're wondering, uh, with this reel, the first one is a custom rod I had made uh, by Black Pelican Custom Rods. This is a Century Weapon. This is a seven foot 10 uh, rod I had custom made. It's a medium heavy, fast action rod. Handles uh, this reel very well and pairs up with it very well. Now the other rod that I'm using here, this is a St. Croix Avid Inshore. This is the eight foot uh, model and medium heavy power, fast action. 
and I use basically interchange both of these rods depending on what I'm doing. If I'm throwing lures, I like to use the Black Pelican, uh, the Century Weapon, and then if I'm tossing cut bait, I'll pretty much go with the uh, St. Croix Avid. So that's just an example of the types of rods I'm using for what I'm using this reel for. Of course, you're gonna have your own personal preference, but pay more attention to uh, the length of the rod, the power and the action, and most importantly, the line rating. Then lastly, as far as what I didn't like too much about the reel, honestly, I can't say there is really much that I don't like about it. The only thing is it's a little pricey, you know, it's in that three to $400 range. But like I said earlier, if you are one of our insider members, you can get this on our shop with a 20% discount. So you'll save a pretty good chunk of change if you are one of our members. And if you're not one of our members, you can still purchase it, but it is at full price. And also be sure that, you know, you're not trying to buy this reel for throwing light soft plastics inshore on light rods. Again, this is more meant for uh, heavier applications, fishing off uh, piers, jetties, fishing around inlets, passes, uh, using live bait, cut bait, and tossing heavy lures. So that will wrap up this review. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, I'd like to know your feedback if you have used this reel before and what you think about it. So definitely let us know in the comments down below. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the line today